hi, kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. <laughs> and I'm Larry the Cucumber. Ouch. Larry, you don't have to do this now. Maybe you should go lie down. That's okay, Bob. I need to do this. For Squeaky. <laughs> kids, if you see this hamster, could you tell him I really miss him? That he's the best hamster a cucumber could ever have, and that if he comes back, I'll give him all the low-fat cottage cheese he wants. <laughs> low-fat cottage cheese is his favorite. Uh, oh. Tell him I didn't mean to leave the lid off the cage. I just forgot. Tell him he has fresh sawdust waiting for him when he comes home. <laughs> Come home, Squeaky. Come home. It's okay, buddy. Greetings, Bob. Greetings, sad Larry. Oh, hi, QWERTY. What do you have for us today? Eddie Espinosa from Boone, North Carolina. Hey, Bob and Larry. Hi, Eddie. Hey there, Eddie. Larry, what happened? Well, I lost my hamster and fell off the countertop. It's been a really bad day. Really? I'm having a bad day, too. I just moved to a new school, and I don't have any friends. Oh, you feel kind of lonely, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I need a hamster. If you see Squeaky, he's a really good friend. Cherish him. Well, uh, Eddie and Larry, I think I have a couple of stories that can help both of you. You know, sometimes it's good to be reminded of, of where God is when we're hurting. First, let me read you the story of Lenny and the Lost Birthday. Well, what'd you think? I think I'm the happiest cucumber in the world. Squeaky came home, Bob. Squeaky came home. Well, that's great. Those are some really nice stories, don't you think, Eddie? Oh, yeah. You okay, Larry? You're still moving pretty slow. Oh, I'll be fine, Bob. I'm just so happy Squeaky came home. It's like I learned in Lenny and the Lost Birthday. Sometimes, you can feel like you're having a really bad day. And nothing's going right. Like people forgetting your birthday or, or losing your hamster? Yep. In times like that, it helps to remember how much God loves us and how special we are to him. And because of that, we can have hope that things will get better. That's right. And in the story of Robin Good and his not-so-merry men, we learned that there's no hurt too big for God. Let's see if Cordy has a verse for us today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. Don't worry, Bob. Things will get better. <gasps> hey. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, take a look. See? All better. Psalm 55:22. Give your burdens to the Lord, for he will take care of you. That's right. When you're hurting, give it to God. Let him help you. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Larry. Sure. You bet. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Always remember... Squeaky, where are you going? Get back in your cage. Squeaky, Squeaky, come back. Larry, watch for the... <laughs> oh, never mind. Always remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Bye! Bye.